Air Drones Hub's drone platform demonstrates resilience during Optus outage with LSITE's Halo connectivity system. In a recent trial of Sphere Drones Hub's drone platform at a remote mine in New South Wales, the drone's connectivity remained uninterrupted during the November 8 Optus outage, showcasing the effectiveness of LSITE's Halo technology. The Kuro Hub's drone platform, equipped with LSITE's Halo system, seamlessly switched carriers when the Optus service failed, ensuring continuous connectivity. LSITE's Halo system, integrated into the Hub's drone platform, provides a redundant multi-carrier connectivity solution. During the trial, the system seamlessly migrated from Optus to Telstra and satellite operator Starlink, maintaining connectivity and proving the resilience of LSITE's Halo system. Yoav Amitai, LSITE's chief executive, highlighted the significance of the trial, stating, the Optus outage proves the critical need for Halo's robust connectivity, making Halo the optimal solution to both common and occasional challenges when using unmanned aerial vehicles, particularly beyond visual line of sight, blows, in any environment. LSITE's Halo system is globally utilized for various purposes, including by drone up in the United States which is expanding its operations for retailing giant Walmart. The Halo system aggregates cellular and satellite connections, ensuring continuous connectivity in areas with low reception. Sphere Drones collaborated with LSITE to integrate the complete Halo connectivity system into the Hub's drone platform. The Hub's drone platform, designed for autonomous data collection, operates from anywhere and improves operational safety across industries. It includes an Australian-built all-terrain trailer powered by solar panels and equipped with a connectivity platform acting as a gateway to DJI's drone in a box, Diab. The November 8 Optus outage, lasting over 14 hours and affecting more than 10 million customers, had widespread implications, including disruptions to FPOS machines, hospitals, Melbourne metro trains, and emergency services calls using the Optus network. However, the Sphere Drones Hub's trial at a remote mine in the Hunter Valley remained unaffected, demonstrating the platform's robust connectivity. Paris Kakinos, CEO of Sphere Drones, explained that the Hub's platform, with redundancy in critical communications lines, was connected by two Optus SIM cards, two Telstra SIM cards, and an additional satellite connection through Starlink. Despite an initial throughput of 75% to Optus due to speed and connectivity, the Telstra and Starlink services seamlessly took over during the Optus outage, ensuring zero interruption to customer requirements. Mr. Kakinos highlighted the importance of redundancy in critical communications lines for drone operators, citing the Civil Aviation Safety Authority's requirement for constant connectivity. He anticipates that the hubs platform, initially targeted at the mining industry, will find applications in agriculture, utilities, remote infrastructure, and emergency services. Continuous communication is crucial for beyond visual line of sight, blows, drone missions to navigate unexpected obstacles and changing weather conditions. LSITE's Halo technology played a central role in U.S. drone operator Aerobotics receiving approval from the U.S. Flight Administration Authority to fly its data drones over urban areas. Mr. Amitai emphasized that the successful outcome of the Hub's platform during the Optus outage will enhance local authorities' confidence in the complete connection offered by LSITE's Halo technology.